a Windows XP D-Day, Mario, what craziness are you talking about today? Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Mr. Mario, and this video is for anybody who is still running Windows XP, or if you know anyone that is still running Windows XP, please take a few minutes of your day to watch this video if you don't know what I'm talking about. It will really help you out. Anyways, I'm going to be dropping this video about a week before it happens, just as a friendly, you know, first and last reminder of this. But in case you do not know, there is a date coming up, which is April 8th, and it is being slated as the Windows XP D-Day. What does this mean? Well, on April 8th, Microsoft is going to officially cut support for the Windows XP operating system, meaning they will not be pushing out updates, they will not be making new updates, and they are not going to be patching any vulnerabilities in there. Now, Windows XP is still a good operating system, don't get me wrong, but it has not been the safest operating system for a while. We have had three, technically four other operating systems from Microsoft that have come out since Windows XP's release, and there's still vulnerabilities available in there, and there's a lot more vulnerabilities in there compared to, you know, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, any of the more recent updates and such. But after this, there will be no more support for them. Any vulnerabilities, any new ones that are found, any that come out, they will not be patched. Now, you might want to know in layman's terms what this means. This essentially means after April 8th, it will not be safe to take a computer with Windows XP online. This has been in the making for a while. It has been announced. I want to say it was announced maybe the third or fourth quarter of 2013. So people have had more than enough time to prepare for this, to prepare for the update and everything. But at the same time, there are still a lot of people that do not know about this. The reason why this is not safe is due to the fact that people have been hard at work making malicious spyware, malware, viruses, worms, whatever you want to call them, things like that that will attack Windows XP and they cannot wait to unleash them on the world when April 8th comes around. That's why I'm saying it is not safe to take a Windows XP computer online after that date. Now, if you have a computer with Windows XP on there or you know someone that does, you might be asking Mario, okay, it's not safe, what should I do? Well, first off, if you still want to continue to use that computer online, you need to update it. Even Windows Vista will be safer than it and it at least still has support. But my recommendation is to upgrade to Windows 7. The reason why I'm saying that is because I have done at least a few hundred of these XP to 7 upgrades and Windows 7 is the most compatible with older computers and such. It will give you the least amount of headaches. And really, if the computer does not work properly with Windows 7 even after an upgrade of some kind, then it's probably just not a viable computer to take online. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down in the description which will give you a link to downloads in many different languages and many different versions for a bunch of Windows 7 ISOs. These are clean ISOs uh, and they do not have serial numbers, they don't have cracks, anything like that. Meaning that they are trials so you can at least get a 30 day trial on there and then after that registering it, it's all up to you. But you can at least use that to get you off of Windows XP. If you want to decide what you should put on 64-bit or 32-bit, 32-bit is known as x86. If your computer is running 3 gigabytes of RAM or less, you can put x86 on there. However, if you plan on upgrading past 3 gigabytes of RAM or you already have more than 3 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, go ahead and put the x64 or the 64-bit edition of Windows 7 on your computer. Now, if you're wanting to know a good amount of RAM, and this is for people who I'm assuming you're just an everyday person, you turn on your computer, you browse the internet, you check your email, things like that, I would recommend putting 2 gigabytes of RAM in your computer. That is the minimum that Windows 7 requires, and it seems to work quite well with that. However, if you're doing anything more demanding, such as video editing, gaming, anything like that, well, first off, Windows XP hasn't been the best for that for a while, and second, you're going to need more than 2 gigabytes of RAM for that. I'd recommend at least 4. But if you're just an everyday user, I'd recommend 2 gigabytes of RAM. You do not need at least 2, but it really helps out anything under 2, and Windows 7 will be very sluggish and very slow on your computer. 
Now, there's also minority here. What if you have a computer that is old enough or just incompatible enough to the point where you cannot properly run Windows 7 on there, meaning that there are drivers that might not work, uh, things just might not work properly on there, or if you have either hardware or software that still requires Windows XP. Well, you can still stay on Windows XP to do all that. However, after April 8th, as I said, it is not safe. I cannot repeat that enough. It is not safe to take your Windows XP computer online. So I would recommend still using that computer, but go ahead, unplug it from the internet. Meaning that if you have to actively transfer files here and there, you're going to have to use a flash drive, a CD, a DVD, a portable hard drive, anything like that to do it just as long as it does not touch the internet. A lot of people might be laughing at that thought, but trust me, there are still a lot of programs out there, a lot of hardware as well, that only works on Windows XP and does not work on anything higher. So again, just to do a quick recap of this video, if you have Windows XP or know anybody that still actively uses it, please upgrade from Windows XP to anything higher, I would highly recommend upgrading to Windows 7 as that will be the easiest one. It will give you the best experience and such. Go ahead and upgrade if you're going to actively use that computer after April 8th. If April 8th comes around or even after that and you're watching this video and you have Windows XP, you are not safe online. However, if there are things that you have on your computer, either hardware or software, that still requires Windows XP to be run, you must stay on Windows XP somehow, but stay offline. As I said, stay offline, unplug your computer from the internet, and if you're a bit tech savvy, I'm going to drop down a link to VirtualBox, which is an open source and free program where you could run Windows XP in an emulator. So, if you have Windows 7 and you still want to use XP at the same time, you can go ahead and run that and then just disable network on your little Windows XP emulated build. If you have any questions or concerns, really, uh, this would be more about upgrading, formatting, anything like that, or you need a guide, I would highly recommend looking on YouTube or looking on Google. I'm not going to be covering upgrading or anything like that or reformatting due to the fact that it is a really easy process and there are a million and one guides out there to do that that are probably better than anything I can make. And finally, if you are someone that is safe and you're just watching this video for giggles, but you know someone who still has Windows XP, please tell them about this. And if you can, I would recommend helping them out because you will look like a superhero to them. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.